Today, we're talking about the Ray Skywalker Saber. I don't know what's going on right now. Welcome back to another episode of um, the Marius Cinematic Universe with me, Marius. Today we are talking about another lightsaber. Well, not another lightsaber. This is our first lightsaber on the channel, actually. It is the Rey Skywalker lightsaber from Black Series. Let's open her up. Oh, this feels nice. Is this a metal? Yeah, it's a metal stand, not bad. We have our light tube right here. Yeah, typical thing, I suppose. Let's see. Ooh. The hilt. It's, it's pretty beefy. It's, this is, this is nice. This is, it's all, it's metal. I don't know if you can see the weathering here, or there's no weathering, the, the rope here. It just, rope. The fabric, the wrap, it doesn't really look like it's been wrapped around. It just looks like, or I mean, it looks like it's been wrapped around, but it doesn't look like it's one piece of anything. It looks like it's multiple colors, and they just wrapped a little bit of this color, a little bit of this color. How it actually looks, I don't know. This needs a little uh, little work, but the the hilt. Wow, this is nice. It's actually really nice. I was like, am I keeping this? Should I keep this? And uh, now I want to keep it. Wow, it's all batteries. I put those in. All proper metal. Did not expect that. This is a little plasticky, but uh, I guess we can forgive that. There might be some, uh, you might be able to do some tweaking here. Kind of looks a little burnt, but I can't get over how uh, how nice this hilt feel. How nice this hilt feels, because it does not feel. It is uh, not a living thing. Oh, all right, there you go. Slip this guy on, and then it just Tightens on like this. Nice. Uh, this is nicer than I expected, for sure. And and I don't know what I expected, but because you have the Vader one, this is the Disneyland version, not the Black Series, and it's also metal and nice. But this one is even heavier than this one. It feels it feels really premium. Let's see, let's get some batteries in the sky. Oh, thought it'd be four, but only three, I guess. That's okay. Goes in like this, and then this. I don't know if you can hear it. It's a nice, solid piece of uh, metal there. And it just goes on. Whoa. Whoa. So, there we have it. It feels, feels hefty. This is like a proper, proper prop, I'd say. Uh, and you could weather this up. Uh, they did a little bit on the font there. I don't know if, uh, if it feels a little bit more universe. I don't know, but it's nice. You twist this little ring. And it's got a battle, battle mode. So when you, you move it around, it's all these sounds, yeah, well, you know. This is nice, this is nicer than I thought it would be. And then it comes with this nice stand. Not bad, I like this. Weather it up a little bit and uh, this is a nice one. 
if you're in the market for the Ray Skywalker Saber, I say go buy it. It's a good buy. It's, it's a nice one, I think. I know how accurate it is, I don't know. But for the price you pay for it, it's probably as accurate as you can get for the money. And I am sure you can customize it to your heart's desire. And I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there who's already done it. I'm late to the uh, review with this guy, but uh, better late than never, right? All right, so let's summarize. Very heavy duty. It feels really nice, feels really premium. I've been looking some more at it and it does have its little exposed metal, some rust, and little nooks and crannies. Just a nice touch, but probably want to weather this a little bit more yourself if you uh, are displaying it. So I'm not going to go into the history of the Sabre or anything. I'm sure there's a bunch of other channels that will do that and have better knowledge about it and better history. But this is Ray's personal Sabre that she built herself after seeing a vision of herself with the two Darth Maul style blades. And she decided against that in case that was an omen for, uh, or it was an omen for her going to the dark side. So she decided on a single blade lightsaber. And this was built after she buried Luke and Leia's saber at the Lars homestead. And another note, it's yellow as we saw, and it flashes a little green and blue when you start it up as a nod to Luke and Obi-Wan. Let's show that. It only goes in one way. Click. I like how this uh, goes on. It just like feels nice. So when I power this on, there should be a flash of blue and green. So try and look for that. Did we catch it? See right there? When it powers on, a little nod to the uh, family history there. So yeah, overall, I'm impressed. I like it. I might keep it just because it's, uh, I was gonna maybe just sell it again, but it's nice. I like it. I really like it. So I might just keep it.